Welcome to another episode of Green's Chemistry Shorts, where being shorted is a good thing. Today's lesson includes solving for molarity. Okay, if you remember from lecture, molarity is the number of moles of solute divided by the number of liters of solution. Okay, for our problem, the question reads as follows. What's the molarity of a solution prepared by dissolving 47 grams of potassium chloride in enough water to give 375 mils of solution? Okay, so in order to solve this problem, we have to extract information from the question in order to get to where we need to go. Okay, so the first piece of information that's given is the fact that we have 47 grams of potassium chloride. Now, if you remember, from reading the problem, the potassium chloride is the solute, okay? And we have to add as much solvent as that would give us 375 mils of solution, okay? So, in order to solve for the number of moles of solute, we must first figure out what the molar mass is of potassium chloride, all right? The molar mass of potassium chloride is 74, 0.55 grams for every, what, one mole, okay? If you're confused by the molar mass being 74.55, you must remember that from the periodic table, that potassium has a molar mass of 39.10 grams per mole, and chlorine has a molar mass of 35.45 grams per mole. When you add those two values up, you get a molar mass for this formula unit of 74.55. All right, if we divide 47 grams by the molar mass, which is 74.55, then we get a value for the number of moles of 0 0.6304 moles. That satisfies at least the first part of this molarity equation. In order to solve for the volume or the liters of the solution, we take the 375 milliliters. That's the second piece of information that was given in the problem. Okay, now we must keep in mind that the unit is given in milliliters, yet the unit in the molarity equation is in liters. So we must simply convert from milliliters to liters in order to solve this problem. There are, there are 1,000 milliliters for every one liter. Okay, so we use this as a conversion factor in which we'll get 0 0.375 liters of solution. So, in order to finish off this problem, you simply take the number of moles, which is 0 0.6304 moles, and divide it by 0.375, pardon me, liters, to give us a molarity or a concentration of 1.68 molar potassium chloride solution. That's all. You've just been shorted.